everyone! So today I'm gonna show you how to do stylized eyes my style. This is mostly for Murder Drones characters, but you can honestly do this for any character that has like floating eyes and stuff. Um, so first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go to edit preferences. Uh, this is something that we need, this is not optional, I'll show you guys another method if you don't want to install an add-on. But you're just gonna go here and then go to add-ons and then add mesh just search up add mesh extra objects so just search up extra objects so um for that <coughs> now that you have that installed you go to mesh and then single vert origin and vert mirrored and then it should automatically go into mirror mode and you should have just the single vertice and if you don't want to do that um which is the easier way but whatever you can go to mesh get a plane rotate it 90 degrees on x grab it here and then select this vertice like the vertice that you just want to grab click Control i just select um inverted and then just click x and then vertices and then there you go you got a single vertice so now we're just gonna bring it over here I'm not gonna use a reference sheet or anything, um, cause I don't, this is just like a test. But, go, before you do anything, go to your modifiers, and then here, mirror objects, like the head, so that, like, you can set the origin to the geometry, and then it'll, like, work. And then we're gonna add a modifier, and it's gonna be subdivision surface. So now, we're just gonna start extruding to make the shape, so we're just gonna do, like, around... No, we're gonna do a tired eye. So we're just gonna extrude and then kind of get the shape going. So I'm just gonna to like do like kind of um pointy. I know this is kind of hard to see. Let me let me actually change the textures on this. <laughs> okay, so we got a basic shape here. And to make like the pointy stuff, you can either subdivide it or do two very close together like this, and then extrude the last one. But I just kind of extrude it a couple times until it gets pointy. So like that. See how it's like, even if we have the subdivision surface, like it still gets a little pointy. That's that's what we want. Like that. So I just kind of extrude it three times. Well, ex yeah, extrude it three times. Make the make sure that they're really close together. Zoom in if needed. Do whatever you need to do. Uh, so now we're just gonna kind of keep extruding. I'm gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna one, two. There we go. Actually, wait. I'm gonna move this one down a little bit and then do that. And actually, I'm gonna subdivide that and then extrude that. Okay. Use all the tools that you have, like rotation, um, move tool or anything at all honestly just use anything that you need uh you are not limited to anything at all okay so now that you've gotten to the end point also quick little tip make sure that the vertices are all lined up uh not it doesn't have to be at the ends because at the end you can just kind of fill it in but make sure that they're um like aligned at least like just like a little bit because it's going to be useful for later so now that we're like at the end of the um the eye, we're just gonna extrude it until it goes like that, aligned. And then now we're just gonna gonna do the end of the eyelash. So like that. You're not gonna like scale it down or anything, you're just gonna click M and then add center. And there you go. Alright, and now uh we're gonna do one dry eyelashes. So we're just gonna grab a random vertice and then we're just gonna click shift D. Only one, please. <laughs> just do one. And then we're just gonna kind of do the same process. So we're just gonna bleep, bleep, bleep. That one was not aligned like that, and then like that. And let me actually subdivide that. Or you can add loop cuts too. That also works. And like that. And then bleep, bloop, blap, bleep. Uh. Blah. There we go. And then just the same thing. M, a center. So I'm going to subdivide this a little bit. There we go. And there we go. We got a pair of eyes. 
But, oh my goodness. Where in the world... How do we make the iris? Easy enough. Grab a vertice. Make sure you have, um, on preferences and add-ons. Make sure you have loop tools. And if not, you can do it manually. Uh, if this method doesn't work, then I'm gonna do it manually, but I'm hoping that this will work. You're just gonna wanna make a rough, um, circle. Merge that. That already looks pretty good, but with loop tools, you're just gonna circle it. There you go. Easy enough. And, um... We can just switch this to normal, and then, you know, I can just kind of do that, and then do that. And there we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, this is kind of weird, because of course it has no eyebrows and, like, other stuff. Um, so we're gonna add the eyelids, basically, kind of, like, the eyelid line, so we're just gonna bloop, bloop, blap, blap. We're just gonna shift the- we're just gonna do the same method that we used for the, um, under eyelash. So we're just gonna extrude all this, and then, to be fair, just like, do that, or just under. Alright, there we go. Perfect. So now, just rotate it. Like I said, use all your tools. You have them for a reason, and you need them. <laughs> so, just gonna do 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 like that, like that, like this, and then I'm just gonna kind of smooth it. There we go! And I was just gonna do brown eyebrows, because I love brown eyebrows. And I was just gonna bleep, bloop, blap, bleep, bloop, blap, 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 blap. Ta-da! And then you got eyes! You got a pair of big, big eyes. So now that you have your basic um, eye shape, this looks very bad because I did it in, um, I don't know how long, but very little. I didn't actually take my time. Um, now to actually fill it in, you're just going to want to turn off the head for this. You're going to want to select these vertices, like the tip, and then you're just going to click F. And then we're going to do, the way that we lined up the vertices is that we can just spam F. But at the end here, it gets a little... A little weird. We can just select that and then click F. Same thing here. Select the, the little tippy tip and then doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Uh, select all that and there we go. Alright. Iris, just one fill will do. Honestly, you don't like if you want to take your time with this, just like <laughs> select all that. I'm gonna make sure these are lined up actually. And then just F, 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 F. Now for the eyebrows and, um, well, for the eyelid, you can just do one big fill. Um, and then for the eyebrows, pretty easy. Just spam F. So now you're gonna say, oh my god, the normals are flipped. Select all with A, Alt, N, recalculate outside. Easy peasy. A lemon squeezy. So let's give her back her um her hair, make her not bald anymore. I'm just gonna adjust the eyes to our liking. I'm just gonna do origin to geometry like that. And there you go. That's how you make eyes. Really easy. Really simple. Um, honestly, if you get the hang of it, you can literally make anything with these. Oh yeah, and also if you want to add some depth into it, um, apply the subdivision modifier. Also, this is how it looks. With the subdivision. Uh, add a modifier, solidify. And let's go here to this view and then just shade it smooth. Honestly, it might be like a little wonky wonk, but just play around with the settings. Like, like there we go. Just set the offset as zero, honestly. If it does that, just set the offset as zero and you should be good to go. And then you can select uh, your depth. But yeah, that's how you make uh, the eyes. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!